Hi, my name is Neil Kelleher. I'm the author of SensationalYogaPoses.com. In this video, I'd like to go over a very basic movement that you can use to practice activating and maybe even feeling the serratus anterior muscle. Serratus anterior attaches to the inside of your shoulder blade. It is actually sandwiched between your shoulder blade and your rib cage. It reaches forwards and these fingers of muscle right here are the some of the attachment points of the serratus to the rib cage. It actually has a fan like shape attaching to the, I think it's the upper nine ribs. Um, anatomy aside, a very simple action, the very simple action that serratus anterior does is spreading the shoulder blades. So one action that you can practice is spreading your shoulder blades and then relaxing um, to activate your serratus anterior. And I'll just go over some points so that you are actually activating the serratus anterior instead of using some other muscular contractions which might seem like they're spreading the shoulder, well, which will actually cause the shoulder blades to spread but are using slightly different muscle combinations. So since the serratus attaches, serratus anterior attaches to the rib cage and to your inner, to the inner edge of your shoulder blades, a very simple exercise you could do is to practice spreading your shoulder blades and then relaxing. Because the serratus attaches to your shoulder blades and your rib cage, and because you are moving your shoulder blades relative to your rib cage, to make the action easier so that you are activating the serratus, one of the things that you can do is to keep your rib cage, your front ribs, lifted. So prior to trying to spread your shoulder blades, what you can practice doing is lifting your chest and then lowering. And to make that even easier, pull your head back and up, lift your chest, and then lower. Then pull your head back and up, lift your chest, hold that action. And then keeping your chest lifted slowly, spread your shoulder blades, and then relax. One point, often people have difficulty spreading the shoulder blades until I explain the idea that because your shoulders, um, because the shoulder socket is at the outer edge of the shoulder blade, when you move your shoulder blades, your shoulders move with them. When you spread your shoulder blades, your shoulders move forward. So if you want to spread your shoulder blades but aren't too sure how to do it, one very simple action, again, head back, chest up, move your shoulders forwards and then back, and forwards and then back. Once you are comfortable with that action, then focus on feeling or trying to feel the inside edge of your shoulder blades. So head back, chest lifted, move your shoulder, shoulders forward so your shoulder blades spread, move your shoulders back so your shoulder blades move back together. While you are doing that action, see if you can feel the actual inner edges of your shoulder blade. Put your awareness here and here. Head back, chest lifted. Keep your chest lifted while you're doing the movements rather than like this. So rather than dropping your chest to round your back. Keep your chest lifted. Spread your shoulder blades and then relax. Spread your shoulder blades and relax. The reason I say focus on feeling the inside edge of your shoulder blades is because that is where serratus anterior attaches. If you focus on that point, on that point moving outwards, you're more likely to activate serratus anterior. So while you're doing the action again, head back, chest lifted. While you're doing the action, as you get better at feeling the inside edge of your shoulder blades, what you can actually practice is a feeling like you are pulling the inside edges of your shoulder blade apart. So chest lifted, pull the outside, the inside edges of your shoulder blades forwards and then relax. Gently pull the outside edge, the inside edges of your shoulder blades forwards and relax. A couple of things to note. Try to avoid any muscular sensation here, actually on top of your shoulders. What you may be doing is squeezing these muscles here. Um, 
you know, I think it's uh, infraspinae. Anyway, the muscles on your shoulder blade, maybe teres minor or infraspinitis might be activating. And normally with the shoulder blade stable, those muscles can be used to roll the arm out. However, if you hold your arm stable and activate those muscles, you may get a feeling that you're pulling your shoulder blade out. Or you could be using your pectoral, pectoralis major to pull your arm forward and thus your shoulder forward. So when you are spreading your shoulder blades, as well as focusing on pulling the inner edges of your shoulder blade apart, also focus on feeling your chest and make sure you're not doing this action, squeezing your pecs to bring your arms forward. Instead, keep them relaxed, shoulder blades forwards, and then relax. Uh, sorry, shoulder blades, spread the inside edges of your shoulder blades. Keep this relaxed or as relaxed as possible, and then release.